Hi Dixons, I'm Verity Howarth, Assistant Vice Principal at Dixons Trinity Chapel Town. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to our channel, use the like function and comment below to tell us which episodes have been most useful for you and what you would like to see on the channel next. Turn and talk is the technique teachers can use if they want students to share ideas with a partner or a small group. It allows for on-task discussion in a structured way that helps to keep students focused on the task in hand. Essentially, it is a routine to engage students in paired or group discussion using a common language and therefore common expectations. If students are unfamiliar with the purpose and or expectations of turn and talk, then this will need to be explained to them and then practiced until they are familiar with the routine. This might include the volume in which to speak, which partner in the pair speaks first, how the discussion will be fed back, and so on. During the turn and talk, the teacher will use the strategy of hunting, not fishing, in order to collect live data on student progress. Please see our video on hunting, not fishing. When the students are ready, the teacher will end the turn and talk and reset the class to share ideas. The sharing of ideas will normally take the form of a cold call as well as providing specific feedback and or praise to targeted students. Please see our video on cold call for more detailed explanation of this idea. Let's watch some turn and talk in action. Okay, thank you, Nine. Tracking the board for our next activity. We're going to a turn and talk. I'd like you to look at the heating curve on the board. When you turn and talk, you're going to discuss the question, which is greater? the specific latent heat of fusion or the specific latent heat of vaporization and you're going to explain why. Remember that when you are turning and talking the only person that you are speaking to is the person next to you. You're using your two foot voice so you are not disturbing one another. Remember that when you are listening you are showing that fairness and you're making eye contact with your partner. I'm going to set my timer now for 45 seconds. When we finish, I will raise my hand, you will fall silent, and then we will discuss. Turn to your partner now and talk. Okay, 20 more seconds. Okay, get ready for hands up, guys. Get ready for hands up. Okay, thank you, Nine. Into learning postures. In full sentences, we're going to share what we've been discussing. Tracking Surif at the back. Excellent answer. Can you show me thumbs up or thumbs down if you agree with Sarif's answer? Okay, thank you. So just to clarify that, Aisha, which is greater? The um, specific latent heat of vaporization. Thank you. How can we tell that based on the graph? Rami, how can we tell that? Because the line is longer, meaning it's taking more temperatures. To Excellent. Thank you for that. Facilitating purposeful discussion in the classroom has many benefits and can be used for numerous reasons. It allows students to support each other in their learning by sharing their ideas with each other. It can be used to increase engagement and pace in a lesson if students are struggling with a particular concept. It can also be used to support metacognitive talk. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and share. I look forward to seeing you soon.